Close Republican Roy Morris finding a new wave of support among evangelicals, as he fends off calls from his own party to drop out of the race. Nathan Russo-Smith at Fantastic Minute reports. Buzz 60 The Christian right is at risk of being unmasked as a partisan movement to keep Democrats out of office, hell-bent on a majority, hold the morals. In January 2016, presidential candidate Donald Trump took a trip to the late Jerry Falwell's Liberty University to burnish his evangelical Christian bona fides. During his Martin Luther King Jr. Day address to the students, Trump misstated the name of a Bible verse 2 Corinthians chapter 317, swore twice, dedicated the record crowd to Dr. King students were required to attend and promised that under his presidency, people were once again going to say Merry Christmas. While introducing Trump, Jerry Falwell Jr. called him one of the greatest visionaries of our time. Despite Trump's abject ignorance of scripture, his history of infidelities and more than a dozen sexual assault claims against him, Trump carried evangelical voters 80% to 16% on Election Day. According to a poll in October 2016, 76% of white evangelicals claimed that a candidate's morals were not important, a stunning reversal from the days of the moral majority and Christian coalition loudly trying to drum people they considered to be godless liberals from office. More Roy Moore response shows GOP deserves to die Max Boot Moore where were Hollywood and DC truth tellers with Weinstein and Halperin. But Trump's election was a mere appetizer for the chaos which would land in the religious rights lap last week. In a Washington Post piece published Thursday, four women accused Roy Moore, a Republican Senate candidate from Alabama, of sexual advances when he was in his 30s and they were under 18 years of age. One woman claimed Moore attempted to molest her in 1979 when she was 14 and he was 32. Incredibly, Moore's supporters in Alabama rushed to his defense, actually using the Bible to justify his alleged pedophilia. Take Joseph and Mary, said Alabama State Auditor Jim Ziegler. Mary was a teenager, and Joseph was an adult carpenter. They became parents of Jesus. In fact, the Bible doesn't say how old they were, although it clearly says Mary was a virgin. Moore's brother said the candidate is being persecuted like Jesus Christ was. Much has been written about the damage Moore could potentially do to the Republican Party if he were to win the December 12th special election in Alabama. If the GOP welcomed him, Abraham Lincoln might rise from his tomb to renounce his party membership, but a more victory would be just as toxic to well-meaning people of faith, revealing a political arm of Christianity that looks now like it was mainly just a way to elect conservatives. If the allegations are true, it is appalling that Moore has held himself up as a defender of faith. Much like movie producer Harvey Weinstein sought to insulate himself from charges of sexual impropriety by contributing to feminist causes, Moore may have been especially zealous in pushing religion. Moore famously declared that the Founding Fathers intended America to be a Christian nation and was once removed from a judgeship for refusing to remove a granite statue of the Ten Commandments from the Alabama State Judicial Building. Using religious belief in such a way undermines those who adhere to the decency and honor of their faiths. More I interviewed an executive in his underwear to get the job done at policing the USAA. Look at race, justice, media is one thing for freakish sideshows such as Jim and Tammy Faye Backer to be exposed as hypocrites. It's another for voters to validate such behavior, especially if it involves molestation of a Minor, it is galling that Moore was a serious candidate before these allegations surfaced. He has, for instance, suggested Muslims should NT be able to serve in Congress, toyed with the idea that homosexuals could be given the death penalty and been removed from the bench twice during his career for violating judicial ethics. It goes without saying that abusing young girls should be an immediate disqualification from holding office. Roy Moore is what happens when political parties and religions prioritize power over principles. It could be that there never really was any religious right, maybe that moniker was a coat of paint for a partisan movement that existed solely to keep Democrats out of office. And maybe now that paint has faded to reveal a movement that was never very moral and merely wanted to be a majority. Christian Schneider is a columnist for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, where this piece first appeared. Follow him on Twitter at Schneider. CM readers share this story http suset.lead2i9zu4.